We begin with a supervillain named Bell Bottom being chased by the Anti-Villain League, popularly called the AVL. She evades them as she rides her bike and hides in a building while the AVL vehicles drive away. She enters her villain lair and presents a stolen map to the rest of her team, the Vicious Six. Wild Knuckles, the leader of the Vicious Six, informs them that the map will lead them to the Zodiac Stone, making them the most powerful villains in the world. Wild Knuckles arrives in Asia and follows the map to a waterfall. He deciphers a picture on the map and uses it to open a pathway behind the water. He falls as he slides on the ground and emerges in a cave where the Zodiac Stone hovers. He tries taking the stone, but is attacked by armed tchotchkes. He defeats the tchotchkes, and as he leaves the cave with the stone, he sees a swarm of them. He runs away, and his teammates lower a rope to save him. Bellbottom snatches the stone from Wild Knuckles and tells him she is the team's new leader. He asks them where their loyalty is, and as they tell him they are villains, Jean Claude cuts the rope, and they leave him to fall. A young boy named Gru sits in his class, and the teacher asks the students what they want to be when they grow up. He tells the class he wants to become a supervillain, and they laugh at him. After school, Gru goes to watch a movie with the minions. He sees that the theater is full and uses a stink bomb to chase everyone out. He returns home after performing a series of evil activities. While going through his mail, Gru realizes he has mail from The Vicious Six, and rushes to listen to it in a car. He sees a hologram of Bell Bottom, and she invites him for an interview that could make him a team member. The message explodes in the car, and Gru enters the house. He enters his mother's room and sees her with a guru. She instructs him to kick the minions out, and Gru leaves the room. He returns to his room, and they make their way to an evil lair the minions are building. Gru informs the minions that he has a meeting with the Vicious Six, and they celebrate. He tells them they haven't accepted him, but says the meeting will be his happiest day. He leaves the lair, as the minions call him their mini-boss. Gru lies on his bed, and as some minions enter his room, he allows them to lie on his bed with him. Wild Knuckles, who survived the fall, watches as Bell Bottom brags about using the Zodiac Stone to destroy the AVL. One of his henchmen asks him if they'll still get paid for working for him. Wild Knuckles fights and defeats them, as he says, he gives them experience. He assures them they will get paid, but says he must retrieve the stone. Gru prepares for his meeting the following day, and as he steps outside, he realizes that the minions want to accompany him. He recalls the day he allowed them to enter his house, but tells them he wants to fly solo. Gru arrives at a record store and meets the owner, named Dr. Nefario, he tells Nefario the secret code, and Nefario gives him a record and places him in a room. Gru plays the record backwards and is transported to the waiting area of the Vicious Six. Gru enters the Vicious Six's office, and as he talks to them, they realize he is a child and fails to take him seriously. Bell Bottom makes fun of him and tells him to return when he has done something to impress her. The next candidate enters, and as he distracts the team, Gru uses a device Dr. Nefario gave him, and he steals the stone. Bell Bottom realizes that Gru stole the stole, and he runs away. He runs to his bike and sees the minions. Sven Gense pursues him, but Gru knocks him down by making a man open his door. A minion named Otto falls off the bike with the stone, and Gru instructs him to take the stone back to the lab while he distracts them. Stronghold and Nun Chuck knock themselves out as Gru dodge their attack, and Bell Bottom holds on to him. He activates the bike's thrusters and escapes. Gru arrives in his lair and celebrates with the minions. Otto arrives and reveals he traded the Zodiac Stone for a rock puppet. He gets angry and yells at the minions, saying they aren't prepared for the big leagues. Gru fires the minions, packs his belongings, and walks away. Kevin tries convincing Gru to stay, but he refuses, and as he walks on the street, Wild Knuckles' men abduct him and drive away. Gru wakes up in Wild Knuckles' house and gets excited. Wild Knuckles asks for the stone, and Gru says he doesn't have it. He threatens to throw him out of the building and asks Gru to call his house. 
The minions answer the phone call, and Wild Knuckle instructs him to come to San Francisco with the Zodiac Stone, or he will kill Gru. The minions interrogate Otto, and he describes to whom he gave the Zodiac Stone. The minions arrive at the boy's house, and he informs them he gave the stone to his uncle. Otto sees the stone on a man's neck, and the man rides away. Otto tries informing the other minions, but they don't hear him, and he pursues the man on a tricycle. Kevin and some minions walk outside and see a bus headed to the airport. Meanwhile, Bell Bottom and the other villains enter their vehicles and search for Gru. Kevin and the others arrive at the airport and try purchasing tickets. The woman at the desk ignores them because they don't have money, and they watch as pilots enter the building and people give them respect. The minions dress up as pilots and make their way to the plane. Inside the plane, the minions fly the plane with no experience and frighten the passengers. They eventually land the plane in San Francisco, and the passengers celebrate. Wild Knuckles commends Gru for stealing from the Vicious Six. He ties him to a giant record and informs him that it is his new torture device. He turns on the music, sets a timer for 48 hours, and a blade appears. Otto rides on the tricycle as he pursues the man with the Zodiac Stone. He rides extremely fast and jumps over a cliff in the process. Kevin and the others arrive on an inclined street and struggle to walk to the top. They get on a cable cart that takes them to Wild Knuckles' house. They see Gru through the window and Wild Knuckles' henchmen training in the backyard. Kevin convinces Stuart and Bob not to give up, and Bob accidentally sprays himself with brown paint. They realize that they can camouflage with the paint, and Bob disguises himself as a brick wall while Kevin pretends to be a bush, and Stuart hides in a potted flower. They move closer to the house, and Stuart eventually gets caught. The henchmen pursue the minions through the city, and they roll down the hill and enter Chinatown. An acupuncturist named Chow works in her store and watches as the henchmen beat the minions. She leaves her customer, walks out of her store, and fights the henchmen with her kung fu. She easily defeats the three henchmen and uses a strange force to push them away as she tells them to get lost. The minions enter Chow's store, and she tells them they can thank her by going away. They ask her to teach them kung fu, but she refuses and says her teaching days are over. The minions make cute faces as they beg her, and she agrees to teach them. Bell Bottom and her team break into Gru's house and ask the minions where Gru is. They inform her that Wild Knuckles is alive and is with Gru. Chow takes the minions into her dojo and begins teaching them. She flogs them as they get distracted and tells them to rest, because the next day will be more stressful. Meanwhile, the henchmen return to Wild Knuckles' house and quit because of their injuries. Wild Knuckles walks to Gru and releases him from the torture device. He tells Gru he needs him to perform some tasks in the house, and they leave the room. Otto rides in the desert, and the man meets him as he is about to pass out. He sees the stone and gets excited as the man gives it to him. He informs Otto that he is going towards San Francisco and offers to take him there. Otto agrees, and they begin their journey together. Wild Knuckles takes Gru to his pool and instructs him to clean it. Gru realizes that the pool is full of crocodiles, and Wild Knuckles shows him how to clean it. He gets dragged into the pool by a crocodile, and Gru struggles and saves him from getting eaten. Wild Knuckles wonders why Gru saved him, and Gru tells him he is his favorite supervillain. Wild Knuckles offers to become Gru's teacher, and he happily agrees. Kevin and the others stand in the woods, and Chow instructs them to find their inner beast as she roars. She asks them to try and road, but they cannot, and she says they have to undergo more training. While training, Chow notices improvement but the minions are impatient and rush to save Gru with their lack of skills. Meanwhile, Wild Knuckles takes Gru to the Bank of Evil, and they pretend to be related. He fakes having a heart attack, while Gru steals some items from the safe. They return to the car, and Wild Knuckle commends Gru on his achievement. Kevin and the other minions arrive at Wild Knuckles' house and go inside. The Vicious Six arrive and destroy the building as they search for Gru and Wild Knuckles. They leave after being unable to find them, and continue their search elsewhere. 
Otto arrives in San Francisco and bids farewell to the man he traveled with. Wild Knuckles and Gru return to the house and find it destroyed. Gru tries to cheer him up and says he isn't alone. He suggests they start a new team, but Wild Knuckle refuses and asks him to go home. Gru leaves the house and enters a cable cart. He moves through the city and sees Otto riding a dragon at a carnival. Otto reunites with Gru and gives him the Zodiac Stone. They decide to give Wild Knuckles the stone, but the Vicious Six arrive and apprehend Gru. Bell Bottom takes the stone from Gru, and the AVL arrives. They try to arrest the Vicious Six, but the clock strikes midnight and the stone grants the Vicious Six supernatural abilities. Bell Bottom, who transforms into a dragon, grabs Gru and ties him to a clock. Kevin and the others see Bell Bottom, and she transforms them into cute animals. Wild Knuckles arrives and says he won't let the vicious Six Hut Gru. A fight ensues, and as Kevin is trapped in a corner, he remembers Chow's words and finds his inner beast. He and the other minions easily defeat Bell Bottom's team and rush to attack Bell. Otto climbs the clock to save Gru as the hands of the clock try to rip him apart. Wild Knuckle tries retrieving the stone from Bell Bottom's neck, but fails, and she burns him with her fire. She instructs the others to kill Gru, but Kevin and the others rush to him and push them away with their roars. The Zodiac Stone falls off Bell Bottom's neck, and Gru retrieves it. He uses it to transform the Vicious Six into rats. He returns the minions to their normal form, and the AVL apprehend the Vicious Six. Wild Knuckles is placed in an ambulance but placed in handcuffs. The ambulance drives away, and Gru stands and watches. Later, Gru and the minions arrive at Wild Knuckles' funeral, and Gru gives a speech. He cries because he thinks Wild Knuckles is dead, but sees him standing behind a tree. He praises Wild Knuckles, and Otto leads a song the minions sing along to. The director of the AVL instructs Gru to be a good person. Gru enters the car and tells Wild Knuckle he can't wait to fake his death to avoid the authorities. Gru goes to Dr. Nefario's store and informs him he needs an evil scientist. Nefario refuses, but changes his mind after Gru and the minions make cute faces. He and Gru enter his jet and fly away as the minions call Gru their big boss. The end. Thank you for watching. Check out these other videos and make sure to subscribe and tap the bell to be notified about our latest videos. See you next time.